So in this video, I'm going to talk about whether apprenticeships or university is a better route for you and um, hopefully be answering all your questions you may have as well. Um, and hopefully, you know, helping you explain to your parents or anyone um, what's the better option. So in this video, I'm not going to be talking about the obvious points that university is a paid option and, you know, apprenticeships you get paid for. I'm going to be talking about other points um, that you may or may not be aware of. So hopefully in this video, by the end, you'll be able to make a decision for yourself. So the first point is um, university being a three year course and a lot of apprenticeships being less than that. Some of them are a year, two years, um, and they can lead into a university degree. Also, um, a second point would probably be the actual, you know, the pay of an apprenticeship isn't as great as getting a regular job. Now, you can get a regular job and be at university, but it's highly unlikely you're going to be doing an apprenticeship and actually, um, you know, work, being at university as well. So with university, you can actually do a course that's three days. Most apprenticeships are full time and they are five days, sometimes six, um, and you are paid extra for the sixth day. So in that sense, you can do a part time job and university and still pretty much earn the same as you would with an apprenticeship. Um, in terms of, you know, most people would start off in their first year on £150. Um, you can work two, two, three days a week, full time in a normal job, you know, working in a coffee shop or a two local supermarket and earn that plus get the university degree. Um, and the fact that apprenticeships, they are more in demand now as well. And in the future, a lot of employers don't actually see apprenticeships being that great as they're made out to be. Um, a lot of qualifications and degrees you can't do through an apprenticeship. You have to do through university. Um, if you want to be a lawyer, doctor, architect, those sort of things, best to go to university. You can, they will be doing nursing apprenticeships. They're hard to get into, super competitive. And the dropout rate on apprenticeships is about 50, 60%. Um, of people actually completing the full course. A lot of people drop out. A lot of employers don't treat their apprentices that well. That being said, universities are pretty much guaranteed as long as you show up and do the work. Um, with apprenticeships, there are dropout rates. Being there, um, you know, it could be the business closing down if you're with a small business, or they take on 10 apprentices and hire five in the end. So there's not always a job guaranteed in the end. However, if you are the best candidate and you do very well, no way will someone, you know, get rid of you. They'll obviously pick you above everyone else. So that being said, they're both great options. Depending on your career path, I would advise definitely going down the apprenticeship route rather than university, simply because of, you know, I mentioned before the cost implications and the on job on the job training, the qualifications. I mean, go with a good training provider. Don't go with a local college for an apprenticeship. Source your own apprenticeship if you can, um, and you do very well with that. Universities would be a second choice for me if I was a younger person. 